how to get some palette talk in today. I felt like talking about some eyeshadow palettes, felt like torturing myself, and I picked my top 10 favorite luxury eyeshadow palettes. As of now, these are like the 10 best that are totally worth it if you are looking to treat yourself in the luxury eyeshadow palette market. I think, you know, you can get some great eyeshadow palettes at an affordable price. Look into BH Cosmetics. Amazing. Odin's Eye is really great. That's a little bit more mid-range. High End has some really great options. I have a ton of palette videos if you are looking for some recommendations. But I love me a good luxury eyeshadow palette, okay? I feel like they have some really, really special eyeshadow formulations, color, packaging. I'm a packaging girl. So these are my top 10. It was actually quite tricky to pick these because favorite brands for eyeshadow palettes are Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath. So those are going to make up like half of this video. If you are looking to get into luxury palettes for the first time, those are the two brands that I'm going to direct you toward. That doesn't mean there aren't other great luxury palette brands, but I had to limit myself for that. You know, I didn't want this video to just be Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona, but all of these are fire, delicious, buttery, smooth, glimmery, just amazing, amazing, amazing eyeshadow palettes. So let's get into it. I want to start off with the one that I'm wearing. So I did the other day upload a top 10 luxury products period video. So this one I did talk about in that video. It's what I'm wearing on the eyes today. So this is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Bronze Seduction Palette. It's going to come in this packaging. If you like glimmery, glittery shades, and you're looking at the luxury price points, you have to try a full-size 10-pan Pat McGrath Mothership palette. It doesn't get any better than that. So I love this one because this one is a little bit more wearable, but you can also wear it in the evenings. You can get some smoky eyes. It's just really versatile in that day-to-night aspect. Lots of options here. So of course, it's going to come in extremely, like superior luxury packaging super heavy you don't want to travel with these you can but you don't want to because they're heavy so this is going to add extra weight to your suitcase let me tell you love this palette so much this is one of my favorite everyday color combos it's also one of my favorite palettes for deeper complexions as well you have some gold tones some browns a plum a pink another pink red just so many options you can get a super glittery eye if the color combination here is speaking to you i recommend it the one thing i will warn you Think about how much you're gonna use this shade right here. Because if you're gonna use it a lot, maybe this isn't the palette for you because this one for some reason is kind of hard to blend out. That's very out of character for Pat McGrath if you ask me, but I just noticed that. But anyways, the look that I'm wearing today, it's very simple. I started off with this brown right here and I just blended it all over my crease. This is a transition shade. I held onto that brush for a while because I would use it to blend out all of the other shades as well. But this is the base that we started with. Then I went into the dark plum shade. I used the shader brush at first to apply this shade all over the lid. I knew I wanted to put a glittery shade on top, so I wanted this to be the base. So I put that all over the lid and then I went into a smaller blending brush and I also blended that out in my outer corner kind of brought it out a little bit to a slight wing effect because that's just what is flattering to my eye shape uh, but yeah I did that took a little extra time like I said it's definitely workable but it takes a little bit of time then I did actually use the Pat McGrath glitter glue situation. It's like a mixing medium where I put down this glitter right here, but then I used this pink glitter, popped it all over the lid as you can see. I mean, hello dimension. This is why I love Pat McGrath the best. And then we finished off with this shimmery shade in the inner corner, but yeah. If you go through my videos, if you're new here, I have a lot of Pat McGrath content because I love her palette so much and I think they're worth every penny, but maybe don't buy them at full price because she always has sales. I will say that. Then they're definitely worth the sale price, but that's one of my faves. The next one, I did a whole Pat McGrath ranking, so you guys probably know, okay? <laughs> this is the Mothership 3 subversive palette. This one's a little bit more funky, okay? It has some more playful color stories. You can get really grungy looks, colorful looks, fairy vibes, lots of options here. So here we are. Isn't this so fun? This is great for more smoky evening eyes. I love the green shade over there. I love, I love all of the glitters in this palette. They are incredible. Every shade here is top notch. Just such a unique formula within the luxury market. This color story is so fun. I've created some of my all time favorite Pat McGrath looks with this palette in particular. Probably some of my favorite looks with makeup in general with the palette. The way that the colors work together is so unique. I do not 
really have another palette that is quite like this one. It is, I don't want to say the most unique Pat McGrath palette, but of my favorites, it's the most unique and undupable Pat McGrath palette as well. So you get your bang for your buck in that way. So if you think you will wear these colors, this is a good one. Let's move forward to Natasha Denona. So Natasha Denona, if you ask me, is a little bit more of a formula that I would recommend to the masses. I think Natasha Denona is the go-to for your first luxury makeup palette. You get the biggest bang for your buck in the luxury space. You get a lot of shades, okay? And they're gonna be good if you get any of these palettes. I have three. Well, I do love my Pat McGrath. Natasha Denona, I just think is a little bit more versatile for a larger group of people. So the first one that I have is the Glam Palette. Now this is for a certain color story lover. If you like cooler toned neutrals, this is gonna be for you. So this is a personal choice of mine because I do love those cooler toned neutrals. She also has Biba. If you are into a wider range of neutrals, the Biba palette is great. But for me, I just love this palette. I think it's some of the best, if not the best quality that you can get within this kind of color story in the entire makeup world. You have some silvery shades, but you also have some golden shades that have a hint of warmth as well. So there is a little bit of versatility in this palette. This is also because of the price point and the amount that you get. One of the best values that Natasha Denona has to offer as well. If you're looking into value, the midi size palettes of hers are the best value because you get a large variety of shades and they're about $65. Expensive, I'm not saying that's cheap, but like just comparing it to all the other palettes that I have on my table right here I think that's a really great value. The mattes are so user-friendly, really great for beginners. They are a bit pigmented, so in that way they aren't great for beginners, but they're still super easy to blend out. And she has really great metallic shades as well. So that one is for the Cool Tone Neutral Lover. This is also for a neutral lover because I'm a neutral lover, but I did see that she restocked this on her website. So if you do want to pick this palette up, you gotta go get it. This is the gold palette. This has not been available for a long time. She restocked it, I think, over the holidays and was like, it's not coming back. But she lied because it's on the Natasha Denona website, so I took that as a sign to put this palette in this video. Again, you kind of have to be a neutral lover for this palette, but this one, you know, it has those more golden, warm tones here. Some pull a little bit yellow as well. I still love those kinds of tones, but I think this palette is really fun because if you play with this roll, it can totally transform this palette. This also is a phenomenal formula from Natasha Denona. She's played a lot around with her launches with different formulations. This is a top-notch formula from her. She's experimented with different formulas at the time that this came out, but I feel like these are some of the best mattes that Natasha has to offer. It's such a fun palette to play with as well if you're a neutral person, but you just like to play with makeup. Like maybe you're wearing, you know, your browns during the day you have that with this palette. But if you like to sit down and play with makeup when you come home in the evening, you'll have a lot of fun with the other color options in here like this crazy green the blues are fun to add it and they all go really well together so yeah I love this one and even if it looks a little boring I promise it's still a fun palette you just gotta give it a chance okay so here's the last Natasha Denona palette this is I believe probably the most expensive eyeshadow palette in my collection but it's also the best quality eyeshadow palette in my collection so these are the Natasha Denona well this is just one there's two different shades. This is the one that I tend to return the most, the 28 pan eyeshadow palette. So you get hecka hecka eyeshadow palettes. She also has a purple blue one if you're into those. I would love to see her expand this range, okay? We've only had the two for the longest time, but these are the OG palettes from Natasha and they are, I kid you not, the best formulas that Natasha Denona has ever launched. There's something about the shimmers in here that are just so much more buttery and they have never been that way ever since. Not saying that they, they haven't been great, they've been great, but there's just, there's just something, you know, about these palettes. I like the brown and green one. It's a little bit better, it's a little bit more wearable, but you are not short for colors. I would, however, love to see her do kind of a more modern take on this because this palette is a little bit older. I think how people do their makeup is a little bit more different. This palette needs a little bit more depth. It needs a little bit more mattes, but I still love it and it still is such a pleasure to use because of all of the shades that you get. It really is the luxury experience, so I had to mention this 
even if I think it's a bit outdated, it still is one of the best luxury palettes and it's so good. So let's move into some of my other favorites, even though these are just as good as the Natasha and Pat ones, okay? They're still phenomenal, even though I just talk up those two brands so much. We'll start off with Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, if you're gonna go Charlotte Tilbury, you gotta get one of these instant, what are they called? Instant eye palettes. They're the best values. Her quads, <laughs> I'll talk about one later, but I love these. I think they are such a good formula. I think they're a lot better than her older quads that she still sells. Those I feel like are a little bit drier, just not the best formula. These are really updated, really creamy, and like I said, the best value. I love the way that Charlotte lays her palettes out. She makes it really easy for the everyday user. You have four looks that she kind of creates for you. So if you use each of these trios together, you are going to get a really cohesive look that Charlotte envisioned. When it comes to Charlotte's looks, it's about really glowy, simple makeup, and I think that her palettes really embody that, and you will love the glimmery finish all over the lid. It's a little bit more subtle. It's not going to give you what Natasha gives you or what Pat gives you, but that is what is beautiful about her formula. It really is very model-esque, very simple, very wearable, but still such a great experience applying them. Super creamy, and there's something special about her formula where you can use her shimmers in the crease, and it still looks great. Looks great on mature skin as well, super easy to use. So I love the instant eye palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. I just pulled out the one that launched most recently, which is the Smoky Eyes Are Forever, but you can't go wrong with any of the big 12 pans. Now, this one is a little bit more color specific. This one is also from Charlotte Tilbury. You have to get this color because her quads can be inconsistent and they are so pricey that you don't want to play with it, okay? That's why I review these for you to let you know. So this is her newest quad. This is the Pillow Talk Dream. So Pillow Talk is the iconic color from Charlotte Tilbury. If you want to get into Charlotte Tilbury, I'd recommend going into Pillow Talk. Her Pillow Talk quad, I'm not as big of a fan of. The Pillow Talk Dreams is amped up. It's amazing. So these mattes right here are some of the most buttery mattes I've ever used. They literally blend themselves, but they also contain a lot of pigment. It's really great because you can just use one of the matte shades all over the lid. The more you layer it, the more it looks like you use different shades, but you only used one. That's how you know you have a good formula. And the shimmers are also really metallic, really creamy, just overall a great experience to use as well. But you have to get this color right here. This is the one that is worth it. And it's so pretty if you love those rosy tones. So I also have a quick from Dior. Dior, you don't want to buy like 90% of their quints. They're not worth it. But this one, if you love neutrals, you will love. It's like one of my favorite everyday eyeshadow palettes to reach for when I want to create a look that I don't need to think about, that I know is going to be a really great experience, super easy and quick to apply. This is Soft Cashmere. As you can see, it's definitely more in the cooler tones, but I mean, everything is just smooth. The blend of the brown, smooth. The application of the shimmers, just really smooth. It's like, you can get a two second eye look with it. That's how easy they work out, but you can still get a lot of depth. You still get a lot of dimension. Each shade in this quint really stands out on its own. It is truly a luxury palette and a luxury experience with this. Not the packaging. The Dior packaging is so cheap, but in terms of application and the look that you get, it literally looks luxurious on the eyes, okay? Dior has a finish that's luxury. That's all I'm saying. Next up, I did pick my favorite quad from Tom Ford. Tom Ford is very luxury very spency. And again, there's a lot that I wouldn't recommend. I would actually recommend if you do want to try Tom Ford to go to a cosmetic company store because you can get his quads for like 50% off. You guys are going to hate me, but I'm really, really hopeful that this comes back. Okay. This is really hard to get a hold of and I didn't want to mention it in this video, but it is one of the best. If it ever comes back, you need to grab it if you like, again, the cooler neutral tones. So this is the Tom Ford Metal Lust Quad. This came out over the holidays and it is so good. Like I said, it's harder to get a hold of, but it's so worth it. I'm going to describe this the same as I've described every other palette in this video, but that's why they made this video. The mattes blend like a dream, super pigmented. This is a unique formula from Tom Ford. They usually don't do like a shimmer formula like this. This is new, but they nailed it. It's a glittery formulation, but you don't get any fallout, and it does have a strong base to it as well. It's like a metallic with glimmers in there. I don't want to say glitter, 
glitters to turn you off, but it's really, really metallic and glimmery. And it doesn't get hard pan like the previous Tom Ford formulation. It's just really gorgeous on the eyes. Not as glittery as Pat McGrath, but sometimes we don't want it super duper glittery. So this, I love the color story, first of all, and the formula on here, so good. Tom Ford is tricky because they really are super duper inflated in price, but I really like that one. So last one that I have, I'm cheating. Okay, I have two. So Viseart, you have to try Viseart. I think Viseart has one of the best, if not the best matte formulation on the market. So I chose, and this I would not have chosen, but I actually used this recently for a bridal makeup tutorial and I was reminded how much I love this and how much of a staple this is. This is the Neutral Matte Palette. So it is very, very boring. It's an all matte palette with just neutrals, which seems really boring, but it truly is such an essential palette because these are colors that you're going to reach for all the time. You might not use this solely to create a look, but you definitely kind of want to have it as your right hand man. Always laid out. If there's a certain color that you need, this has it. This is the perfect base for any look. You can use these shades for eyeliners as well. You can use them to highlight to help blend out other shades. It's just a trusty palette. And if you're a makeup wearer and an eyeshadow lover, you know what I'm talking about. So I don't necessarily recommend the size that I have. This one is $80, but they now offer these in, it's a palette that's half the size of this, half the amount of product, but half the price as well. It's $40, which is much more palatable. And I just think that well, that's a great trusty palette to have. And these are some of the best mattes that you will ever try. Super easy to use, does whatever you want it to do. I recommend checking out my most recent bridal tutorial if you want to see this palette in action because this was the main look that I did on the eyes. I was using just this and you'll see the quality in the shadows. So I did want to offer a, a number 11, if you will, from Vizzy Art as well, because the brand grew from these palettes right here where they were all mattes because they're made for makeup artists. So you don't want to mix like shimmers and mattes for certain professional situations when it comes to doing artistry. But I really think in the last couple of years, they've started changing the brands for more normal people as opposed to professionals. I love the cashmere palette. Palette. This is kind of similar to the Glam palette by Natasha Denona. You still get the really great Busy Art Matte formulations, but these are more like color story inspired, whereas the previous palettes that they had come out with were more so just about functionality and certain needs. This is like an actual eyeshadow palette, the types of palettes that we love to pick up today, where there's kind of a color theme. So I love this one. They have a lot of others on their websites. The packaging on these is cuter as well. Cashmere is my favorite, so that's why I pulled this one. But I just wanted to show you that Viseart has other options that are not as boring, you know? Functional is important, but they have some fun ones as well. Bijou also came out with this one. That one was really great. Anyways, I also love Paris Edo. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. My hair is growing in size by the second. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Good luck on your luxury palette journey. I think you will have a lot of fun. I think you will love all of the palettes that I mentioned today. And thank you so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel, you guys. We are almost at 90k, which means we are almost at 100k, so make sure you subscribe if you aren't. And thank you if you are a part of that. <laughs> all right, you guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.